Hello lovely people, welcome back to another book chat. So this is my first um, post-holiday or, or post-vacation, if you're if you're American, um, book chat. So I've been trying to remember all the books I read on holiday, but um, A on jet lagged, <laughs> um, and B I have the memory of a goldfish. Uh, but we do have a kitty. Layla is also back. The little fairy muse has returned for our book chats. Um, okay, so the first book I'm going to talk about was a recommendation that's actually been sitting on my Kindle for ages and for whatever reason I just never got to it. I'm actually terrible with my Kindle books um, in that my Kindle TBR would be terrifying if I could actually see it. So it's you know probably a good thing it's virtual. Um, but one day I will have to add up all the books on there because there's a lot and I need to stop buying them and I blame it all on BookBud, uh, BookBub and their 99 cent deals. Anyway, okay, so this one was The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman, and I don't have my other Kindle to show you the cover in colour, but there it is. Okay, now why it took me this long to get to it, when it's about um, a library which essentially rests in a dimension between various worlds, um, and a librarian who goes out and hunts down particular books to take back to the library in order to preserve them, but that's perfect. And there's dragons in it, even if it's not my normal sort of dragons. Um, I have no idea how I didn't get around to reading this before. And it is awesome. It's absolutely amazing. I loved it. Um, the central concept is fantastic to start with. And these various different worlds, which um, a lot of them are kind of, it's always like an alternate reality thing. That sort of idea of all the parallel worlds, which are only just slightly different. Um, so there's definitely a sort of a steampunk feel to it. Um, and Irene, who's the librarian who goes out to hunt down these books, is very reluctantly partnered up with Kai, who's this just new person, a novice sort of thing, a novice librarian. Um, and obviously as the book unfolds, we see he's more than that. But their relationship's fantastic as well. It's not a sort of um, hate hate to love or or you know instant attraction or anything like that they've just got a really lovely friendship at this stage um which you can sort of see developing probably as the books go on um and i can't wait to get the other books in the series because i thoroughly enjoyed it irene's very resourceful she's not a superhero she's not you know ridiculously perfect um, and neither is she a sort of um that that terrible trope of, oh, I do believe I'm so terribly unattractive that actually everybody in the world's falling over themselves in love with me. She's not that either. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, excellent characters. There's also an almost um, Sherlock Holmesian character who comes in in this alternate world that they end up hunting for a very dangerous book in. Um, and it's also filled with wonderful lines, which I'm going to try and find some. Um, how do I do this? Go to, I do know how to work my Kindle, honestly. There we go. Um, uh, um, yes, I should know where these are, but I can't seem to find my highlights. Um, there we go. That was the one that I loved. So there's lots of things which are, are just brilliant lines when you're a bookworm and you relate to them immediately. Like, um, uh, apparently Lord Wyndham did regularly donate books to various museums around London. They were usually ones which he had collected earlier, but which were no longer of interest to him or his associates. Irene twitched at the very notion. Give books away? How very frivolous, she finally said. <laughs> and yes, yes, I am with Irene all the way on this one. Um, and I actually took loads of notes when I was reading this, and then I lost them all, and now I found them again. Um, and... Okay, this bit as well about gargoyles. Love this. She quickly reviewed what she knew about the gargoyles. There was one on the roof of each boarding house. They were even listed in the boarding school prospectus as a guarantee of student safety. Any kidnappers will be torn to bloody rags by professionally maintained historical artifacts. I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, the alternate worlds are brilliant. It's the sort of concept which I love. Um, and it's done really, really well. There's lots of humour, nothing's too overdramatic. Um, and sorry, that's the pot on the stove boiling over if you can hear that. <laughs> um, and yeah, so thoroughly, thoroughly recommend The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. Um, if you have read it, let me know what your thoughts are on it. If you've read others that are similar to it, let me know what you'd recommend I could also read as well um, before I exhaust the entire series. And if you haven't read it, go and grab it.
because it is absolutely excellent. Um, and yes, we shall say goodbye to some furry news. Little furry news. Very unimpressed. Um, yes. She's absolutely determined not to look pleased that I'm back. <laughs> um, and that is all for today. So thanks very much for joining me. We'll talk to you later. Bye.